Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. I'm River and I am excited to get our first trains going. It's right after the last episode in real life, even though it might be some time depending on how you're watching these. But we have made a connection in the first episode we got from the freight depot down to the sawmill. And then in the last episode we managed to get from the logging camp connected up to this Y and we were working on this uh, this triangular junction right here where we're going to be able to pull, pull into here. Uh, you know what we need? Yep, so we have this Y, sorry, up here. So with this Y will take where we can go from the logging camp and go all the way over to the smelter, but it will also allow us to make a loop and come back around from when we drop off logs or lumber. Like we'll have a circle for both of these type of thing, like the picking up and the dropping off to the sawmill. Plus we'll have the bypass where we can just drive right around it and go this way. And same thing with over here, we want this to be able to come from the freight depot, swing around and go to that. Now we're awful high right here, I don't know if we need to be this high. Um, probably not, though we do want to be kind of a bunch of coordination to get it. Yeah, let's go pick a nice height back over here somewhere, right? So we're assuming we're going to come right down here. This, this doesn't need to be this high, so we'll take our ground works and we'll come here. And we'll just go up a bit. I think it's going to look nice. Now in the back there, I think the ground goes up, so it'll be a little bit high here. We'll right? right work our way around there and see if this is... So we do need to Ooh, see the ground got higher. Oh, no, no. oh yeah, it did. So let's cancel that. And I do want to. I want to stay up above it. So we'll, even if we have a slope here, that's fine with me. Cancel that up. Three degrees. Maybe two degrees. kind of even with it now so if we're going to start turning maybe we'll... now we'll have another triangular junction here possibly because yeah because we want to be able to get oh, look how high that got <laughs> pay attention i definitely I definitely have that problem this is probably good right here uh, yeah. We can work out whatever issues later. Right, so we're going to kind of swing. I think over towards this hill. But not actually hit the hill. Right, and swing. I'm just going to keep going all the way around to the lumber side. I'm just going to start swinging now. This is where we would 2% down. Makes sense. Not really. But that's okay. We can work on that later. I think the more important part is, is we know we'll be able to get a track through here. Now this doesn't need anything fancy unless we wanted, you know, to put some kind of rail storage because this will be a place that we tend to leave stuff. So in other words, before we get another steam locomotive, we're going to want to leave the lumber cars while we go to get more logs or whatever else. So we do want a bit of a storage area here. Now this, this we have coming out here right now. I've turned it a bit. I'm not sure if I really want. It's probably in about this neighborhood. Maybe a little further down. Spun around the other way. We're going to want left turn this let's is that okay we, we can swing that a little wider let's see really more importantly how bottom well, more important part of the challenge to this is it all kind of has to work Let's 
so that's that's pretty darn tight it's not super tight but it definitely tells me I want to be further back this way straighter and this isn't going to break my heart either because this is this will be we need to go into that valley right there so let's just leave that long like that right, and so this is probably in the neighborhood left turn with the thing on the right place I know from the past that I've put the cars is right over there. Right? So if we can put a switch put this this way. Yeah, no, you know what? I'll put it the other way. As long as it fits by the building. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that'll give us the possibility of putting rail cars when we want to get rid of them, store them, temporary. All right, so like when these rail cars come in, and we're done. We can either leave them right on this track, or we will have an option to get in here and do some stuff. Not kind of messed up with our thing here, but that's why we work these things out. Very nice. the other way since there, for now won't be anything going on there ever. Right, we're just worried about being able to come around here, get some logs going. We'll worry about other stuff and future us. Let's take a look at our money. So to give you an idea, we've spent almost $400, $370 cutting down trees. <laughs> we're not even quite there yet, which is okay. We do need to cut down some trees, but I'm really trying to save. I'm, I'm being cheap, but I'm really. So we had this coming back that way. So now what we need to do is when we get out of here, we want to be able to loop around this way. So let's cut a few of these trees because it's just. see us really changing 
Let me change this up a little bit. Drastically, obviously. This is... These are going to be butt to butt. And I really need to have a space in between them, even though that stretches things out. So this is going to be switched to the right. Alright, so that's... It's going to be a long run. Let's see what we get. So that wants to be off in that direction. And that would be the height. So let's just turn this a little bit more. I think we can make this work. Alright, we'll come out of here. So as we get to say, this point. of that, right? Because then we'll have that slope down to this height here. But we want to hold this height level while we join them together. I can't see my can't see the other ramp at all. I can kind of make out where it's at as far as putting at least this preliminary get a switch left. Straight here. Yeah, that might work. Let's go and This, or not level it, but connect the two. It's minus four. I don't want to go. Three is right, right smack in the way. Right, so it should ought to work. And with this. Four. Some kind of symmetry, anyway. All right, let's get rid of this tree because you can't get any more obnoxious than that one. Does. Let's see if we can make this connect. See, the other thing is I can tell I need more, need more gravel. One, two, three, four. Get rid of the 
rid of a little more of this too. If not a lot. Maybe that. Let's get rid of that as well. I don't think that was necessary. Hmm. So we're going to come around from this end and see if we can get that lined up. It missed the click. But look at that. There's a little thing right there. See that right there? That could mess you up, I think, a lot. So, unfortunately, I made a mess of that. But, but we wanted to get rid of that because I've, I've heard that those kind of things are what's flipping people's trains in the air. Let's, let's, let's start over. It's going to be a switch here. But can't we just connect? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's okay. This one reconnected so I don't forget. bit of a swoop de doop I'm not sure if that's the technical term for it, but that's the word of the day, swoop de doop that's for me. Too many more swoop de doops I'm not sure if I'm pressed with swoop de doops This could definitely use some more but I think I like it otherwise. So we can just get rid of... Alright, then we can start. Go downhill. It's four. The tree's not making it particularly easier. some stuff. Yeah, go back further. There's no no reason other than laziness not to not to delete it back far. There we go. Let's get rid of this tree while we're here. do is I might make this separate pieces but let's go up to here and just see what slope what slope we want oops wrong way
So I'm doing the shift Q thing. How does that look? Is that fine? Yeah, it's... Seems like it'll work. Can't really see the rail for that stupid tree. There we go. I think we're I think we're attached. Now what do we want to do? When we come in here, we're gonna to wanna to go, I think, immediately in, right? So we're gonna come in and go down this way because there is no way like this if you're on that logging thing you can't come this way which is fine because we just need to go to the logging line you know like the logging line doesn't need to come over and if we ever need to get a train out of here we can come the way we are so that means yet we want this one switched now let's let's go around and cut some cut some oh we're not done this out. Don't cut too many trees down this way. So this is a nice line for coming over here. All right, this will let us go straight over there. This one's turned to go in. This one's turned the wrong way. All right, so now this one will be accepting us coming in this way. So yeah, I think we need to get this get this going. I think I want to swing that just a little bit wider. Just need some stuff. Oh, that's the wrong thing to delete. So we're going to swing it a little bit, a little bit wider there. If it didn't work 90% of the time, that wouldn't be so frustrating because I just wouldn't get into that <laughs> get into that hole every time, you know? Like you when you click on it, you're just so used to be able to get out of it that when it stops you, it's a bit frustrating. Alright, so let's get some track laid. Alright, before we go too much further, I want to be able to come down here and go off that way. So let's, before this tree, we want a switch to the right with a switch to the right. Okay. Want a hill? Does that look like it's way up in the air? Maybe it's not. So that'll let us go straight over that way. This will let us loop around here. How does that look? It looks pretty darn good. Good enough. Alright, let's get rid of this tree so we can't see our sign. Yeah, I don't have to switch it over the right way. And then now this. Let's see if we can avoid running out of gravel.
right? And then for a future project, we will have this. Let's just kind of lay that out as a reminder. Same thing over here. It's, it's kind of amazing with the level, <laughs> just how far off it is. That's straight. Yeah, I'm just gonna come. Whatever straight is, I think for now. Right, and then this. probably end up I got out of it that time we'll probably end up you know having to figure out exactly where we want to go in there but that's okay this, this gives us gives us an idea of what we're doing in the future so let's check for some trees switches are good let's get rid of this guy Seeing those. Yeah, you know what? I really don't like that now that I'm coming up on this. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like that. Alright, we're redoing it. We're almost there, but I just don't like the way that's the way that is. I can at least do a little bit better. Yeah, that, that is a little bit tight, isn't it? I don't like the way that loops up and around there. Kind of funny. Let's try it from this end. Yeah, see, the problem is this is just facing a little bit further over this way. Let's, let's see, because I, I don't have a lot of wiggle room either way. But I do want to make this at least... Oops, that, see, that missed. Well, we got another... A little section there. It's pretty sharp right in here. I don't know if we're going to make that or not. We're going to give it a shot, though. I may end up having to... Yeah, I might be better off moving this guy back just a little bit. But we we won't get that fiddly-farty at this exact moment. Another technical term, fiddly-farty. There we go. So I think when we come in... We want to get diverted down, and then this one over here, yep, we got it coming this way, and this one's sending us that way. So we should be in pretty good shape with most of the signals. This signal doesn't matter, I hope. And this signal up here, I want it sending us in that way. Right, this one, yep, is coming from that way. You know what, like, this is the kind of thing... Let's go get this tree out of the way. Oops, Maybe even the 
these couple so come around this turn. We got a little, a little extra vision. All right, let's run back down the tracks. We'll take care of some trees that are in the way. I don't think there'll be too many. I kind of forget. It's been a few hours. We can see how much just getting cost started. How much it costs to get started with cutting down trees. Yeah, we'll, yeah, there we go. This one's. Yeah, let's just see. How much money do we have? All right, 1500 Sounds like a good round number. I don't want to cut down any more trees than we need to. Dollars worth. I guess the first thing to do is we'll figure out how much they cost and bring lots up to the or Two hundred and fifty, and then the other ones are the lumber ones. I think are three hundred, that or vice versa. But I think we could get end up with three of each, and I think that that would be a reasonable thing to do. And then we'll make some money when we go to sell the, you know, at least the logs. Now the lumber needs to go all the way up to the iron mine. So, really, if we're going to sell lumber, it would be better to bring it over to this road depot, I think. Which we haven't done yet, right? So, maybe with the extra money we get from, from the uh, logs, that we're going to drop off a bunch of logs, we could then end up cutting the trees down that we're going to need to, to get into here. Now, this doesn't have to be fancy, kind of... You know, because there's only one drop off and pick up that we really need. There is two, one on either side, but we don't need to. We don't need to hook up to both of them. One will. One will suffice. All right. So this switch is switched, right? All right. So let's come into G, and it'll be a little easier for you guys to see when we're talking about it. So we can get flat cars, and they are three hundred dollars. Okay. And then if we go to this one, this is the flat car that does the lumber that we're going to need. It also does raw iron and rail beams. Okay, I didn't even, I don't know. Oh, because, I don't know. Oh, because lumber and beams, I guess it does rails and raw iron. I'm assuming that's what they have. But these are only 250, so they would be 750 to get three of those. And then we want to get two of these other ones would be 1300 So we'll have to see. So we'll get a few extra bucks. But I think we should order two of these. It's a little bit of a pain because you got to come in. Oops. What's going on there? There we go. Somehow I lost the mouse. Right? So now we need to order another one of these. And then we'll have enough. Yeah, we, we'll have our carts are going to be a goofy. <laughs> Because we're going to have to pick up this one from the front and the other ones. We could switch them around when we get down to that triangular shape thing down there. So each of the carts has a handbrake. We'll leave that on. And then what I'll do is let's come here. So you got to pull this link out before you do it. I, I just go right and left and when I'm selected on this. And then I'm going to right click and go down. So hold left click and go like that. And this link will pop out. And then you're ready to go. But you can't link them up if they're close together like you can't pull that link out so if we want this one to have a link right we need to do that and then go down and we got that that one will be able to attach this one this one to that one we'll put another one on here right oops there we go so now we should be good to go once we get this guy fired up so let's go ahead and do that. We probably should have done that first. So what we need to do is grab some firewood. If that's not super duper obvious. So we right, left click, 
pick up the wood, right click, throw it into the furnace. Now, one of the things you can do when you're up here, if you want to run all this manually, you can. I don't like to because it's so hard to, the clicking is just not accurate enough. So in any event, we can look in the firebox there. You can leave that open. It doesn't have any effect. But what we have here, I don't honestly know what cylinder cocks do, <laughs> but they, they are apparently a thing. The cylinders, I would imagine maybe they open up the cylinders. I don't know. So maybe it's, you know, like if you're going downhill. I don't know. I don't mean to guess. I should just be quiet. So this is our regulator, which is going to give us the power, right? So when we pull it all the way back, we're at 100%. That would be full full power. Like Then you change your direction with this reverser. So we can like put that all the way forward because I know we're going to go forward. And then this is our brake. And if you notice, like sometimes it's hard to get on the brake. And if you're, the other thing is, you know, when you're trying to drive, you can't really see. You can lean out, but then you're like real close to like falling off. So there's another option here that we can do, and that's just to hit F. And F puts us into this mode where we can then hit V and change our view, right? Where we can see a little bit better exactly what's going on. Down here, we can see. The numbers there are firewood or fuel is going down the firebox temperatures going up and the water temperatures going up this is in celsius so as the water temperature gets up to 100 we'll start making boiler pressure and go from there now i'm not sure exactly what the generator does i'm assuming that would be an electric generator power you know uh, the compressor i imagine is air breaks but we don't have that on this one so that's probably for another and then we can do things like ring the bell, right? Hopefully that'll stop. I have seen other people's videos where that just doesn't stop <laughs> like that. So that'll be a little annoying. But we have the sander and then there's those cylinder cocks. So we can control what we need to from here, but we need to get at least a little bit of pressure. Let's see if we... Is that going to stop here? slowing down okay good. good so yeah that that's about it i mean it's it is just driving a train but what i really am enjoying about this is like now we have to go test out our track <laughs> you know if we didn't do a good enough job we're gonna be derailing or it's just gonna cause us to have to go real slow like the better i don't think you'll ever do a perfect job but the better we can do we can take the brake off first it's around a level on the ground we don't have much pressure, so we'll give it a little. Usually, 34 goes pretty quick, but you know, based on the boiler pressure. So, so the physics of this game are actually, you know, reasonably impressive in my opinion. I like to try to hit this fairly gently. You don't want to push that car so hard that when you apply your brakes, it keeps sliding, but you stop. That, and there you go. Hear that cha-chunk noise? That means we are connected. So now what we need to do is come over here and take this brake off. Always. Right. I, do that I really don't think I'm doing anything. I'm, I didn't move off the mouse pad. Or I don't know. It just it does that periodically. Okay, so here we are. So now what we have to do is go down the end there and get to where we can back up. All right, so let's give it a little bit of juice. If you notice, our boiler pressure is at 120. That's as high as it goes at the water level. So now, see, once we have full pressure, this 30 starts to get to be a little quick. As a matter of fact, we'll just cut it off. Just looking up ahead, this switch, we don't need to change this one. We just need to change the one of the one we're on. All right, because this one's already go into this track, the middle track. This one, we have to get out of here, then we can switch it back over. And these, they don't reset. Like in some games, if you pass a, a signal that's, you know, you pass a signal like this, that's, it will automatically trigger back the other way. This, this game won't. Like we have to flip this over to the right 
like if we had it like this and we had tried to come out of there it would have it would have uh, derailed us it doesn't automatically flip it back over now i don't know if that's a real thing in life or not to be completely honest oops so let's do the reverser give it a little bit of juice get the break off it should be pretty level here so for time get it nice and back Build up some speed. We'll cut the juice off. So this game is all like train games. If you haven't played many of them, it's all about momentum. It's, it's certainly a skill. I think in real life nowadays they have like a whole pre-planned plan, like as to what power levels are supposed to be at. And I, I don't think they're you know bound to it, but they're, they're very sophisticated in calculating pretty exactly. Now the problem is, I think. That they don't always know the weight of the cars exactly it's almost like with airplanes it's kind of scary to think about like but they don't actually know the weight of the airplane like the cargo and whatnot on the plane because it's it's kind of an estimate like they don't weigh every passenger and they don't necessarily weigh every bit of luggage so let's turn down to zero Right, so, and I think that's the same with the trains. There's only so accurate you can be with the trains. Get the juice. Get, getting more cars, so you're going to see things get... Be, you know, you definitely can feel the weight. Not This isn't much weight, of course. Not this. Make it. Put on the brake and go find out. Yep. So see, having put those links in first, we can connect them all up. If you were this close, you can't get that link in there. So you got to do that ahead of time. And then again, always remember this. There we go. So I do like to make one last anal retentive check of the brakes. Driven around with them not <laughs> disengaged enough. There we go. So, and there's, I don't think there's any particular reason you don't want cars in front of you other than the vision is limited, you know, in a normal circumstance. Now we're, we've got, you know, the hover cam here following us, but all right. So let's, uh, stop talking and get in gear. Time's a wasting. All right. So we should be good on all of the signals to get, oh, you know what though? Not really. Cause I set them up to go through the logging camp, so I think we want to stop when we get to the end of this trip. Uh, as a general statement, I found it's very safe to go through these kind of things at 20, as long as you're pretty reasonable and not downhill. This is, this is a level, so no problems going through these if you built them reasonably well. Now we're just going to probably stick to a little bit lower speed because. There's something <laughs> Well, that didn't last very long. Well, good. At least I can show you about another feature. How did we miss that tree? Just run right past it. So, we'll get rid of this one before we... If you, these trees can bounce around and knock the trains off. Here, let's go get these two, too. Was I being that cheap? Yes, I was. So that was too cheap. You know what? I didn't really go back down here. Yeah, these are just too close. I'm not sure why I didn't. Yeah, well, we'll poke our way down there slowly but surely, and we'll, I'll show you how to re-rail a, a train. way we do that is to hit G and then we have the re-rail button. Click on the car. Now hopefully this thing doesn't work. We're, we're, see how it says flat car on the top left? And then if we get over it, you don't want to drop it on yourself. Now the problem is that we could, sometimes you can get to the brake 
But you do want to put this brake on because if we bump it, and then we want to check for the link and all. See, this link is in here. So what I'd like to do is put that one in, and then it, do I, it doesn't matter. We can, we can always have taken that out. The important part is that you have the link itself before you butt up close. Let's go kind of slowly. Another thing to notice is we're out of firewood, but if you notice, we still have a lot of water temperature and whatnot. Uh, fire temperature and the water temperature is still fine. Oops, let's, let's if you stop too quick, the thing will keep going. Yeah, so now we're reconnected. Let's take the brake back off. And see that finickiness when you're trying to grab things? It, it, you really would have to get pretty good at this to deal with that. Now, so we're just going to head down there with this level of water and see what happens. Or level of uh, fire temperature and all. It should be pretty good. Slower for the sake of crashing into things. Yeah, so there's definitely some trees that are close. I'll go clean some of them up before the next episode, I think. And again, the, the, one of the ideas is just get down there, get some money going. Each one of these will hold six logs, and each one's worth ten bucks. So we'll get $180, which is 90 tree cut down. So, and then the other thing is we're just filling up the you know, lumber mill, which will let us sell the slightly more profitable thing. But really for us, it's, even though it makes twice as much from the, when you, it doubles the amount, so you get one lumber and one log, or one beam and one lumber from the log, it doesn't really do us much good, because it's just how much we can carry. So the lumber we can carry six of, and the beams we can only carry three of so let's do it. Really we need to cut these back, but <laughs> we'll do it before we start the regular trip up here. Like I said, we'll get you know just filling up the sawmill with logs, we're gonna end up getting you know, hundreds of dollars. up here for the switch. I guess we could just go through and test things. See, I mean, see that signal up there. Just in the nick of time. All right, so we'll flip this one over. And then now this one's the wrong direction. All right, because it wouldn't accept us coming in here, but that's that's a lot steeper. There's something going on there. I need to fix that. All right, we need to have this switched over this way, but now that we can go up in there, and then the only thing we'll have to worry about is when we come back out. Uh, this one... Oh, that one's not right either. All right, because we need this one to accept us coming in from this way. It might have been easier. I didn't realize we had to flip three of those. And <laughs> now we're going to have to flip them back when we go the other way. When we get the when we want to get set up for the log run. Now the nice thing, oh, you know what? I want to spin this guy around, right? So yeah, let's let's 
Let's put this one down here. All right. So we're going to come here. We're going to drop this off. Facing that way. We're going to back back up. But then pull over this way. And then back back in. I'll show you what I mean. And this way we'll get all of our carts behind us. So, right, so we're going to go down. I think we're in good shape. Oh, did I need to switch that? Over? Let's go real slow. Test out these turns for the first time. And it will, if it's too sharp, they'll just derail it immediately. Look how much, like, this is like, see how the thing overhangs? Like, if that's just too sharp, it just pops that right the hell off. signal with the whole thing. Or no, no. We don't need to. We, well, I'll, I'll do it just for the sake of space. I don't think I need to. Right, so let's hop out. We're going to leave some stuff in there. Always remember your break. And you can send a cart all the way across the map. <laughs> that would be pretty lucky. Alright, so there we go. We'll leave that in there. And now when we back up, yeah, we'll back up the same way. That'd probably be easier. That's right. This is actually a fairly steep hill. It came down. So that's we definitely have to keep that in mind as we're working this turn. sure if I'm overly impressed with the design. I'm doing pretty well. See, and then what I'll do is I'll flip this over the other way. Like Three-point turn like you might in your car when you're turning around. Another thing to note is that this thing doesn't change until you actually let go. It can be, it doesn't matter where that cage is, so you've got to let go of it in order for it to pick up your signal. one back and this one needs to go back all right so that'll accept us coming in from this side yeah now we have all our carts on the right thing which in the long run was definitely the right way to do it take another run. Now we do need to get some firewood. We'll work on that in the next episode. Get the reverser going.
that's it. That's too sharp. Hmm. Yep, see that? It caused the link to break. Alright, well. <laughs> I got something to work on. I think that that's too awful bad. I think I need to call it an episode with that in mind. Alright, so now we should just, that wasn't too bad as far as catastrophes go. Right, noise should mean you're pretty good to go. That link didn't break. And then this one. You hear that noise. All right, so now, it's a, unfortunately, we put that wood in there, but I need to fix this. One way or the other, that, that's just too sharp. So I think that it's, you know, just with the time we've already spent, I think we're pretty close to wrapping up an episode. I don't like the way that's dipping down like that anyway. See how that's sort of off? I think what I need to do is maybe pull this back a little bit further this way. Give us just that much more room. But we'll probably do that in the next episode. So I hope you guys have a good day. Sorry we didn't get to do a train ride three episodes in. <laughs> we had two failures already. So so we'll get it we'll get it going. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.